love with my God, my King, whose love is alive, it burns within me. Every beat of my heart will sing, your love is alive, it burns within me. I'm in love with my God, my King, whose love is alive, it burns within me. Every beat of my heart will sing, your love is alive, it burns within me. With all I am, 
Oh, I will sing Undignified with passion for the King A thousand years And a thousand more I will delight in you Now and forevermore I will I will delight in you Now and forevermore We sing And I will delight in you Now and forevermore Now, before we start the interview, can I just pause to say, wow, on behalf of everyone in the room, can I just say, wow. Wow, because, I mean, wow is just the right word for what we just, uh, you know, what we just listened. To the both of you, I want to say thank you so much for doing that because that was not just a very powerful song. In many ways as well, it's, it's, it's almost haunting the song, you know. When you, when you were singing, you know, and, and both of you were, were, were singing the song, we were all behind there. And there were faces. I was sitting in the midst of a lot of people and a lot of people behind the cameras were going, <laughs> you know, and, and that's just a general consensus and the feeling of everyone while listening to that song. So honestly, you know, this is such a powerful song, I feel. And I was personally so touched by the song as well. I was closing my eyes and I was really worshipping with you and the band. And I'm sure many who are listening as well, you know, as they were listening to, to that, I'm sure they were very, very blessed as well. So let me just start by saying, wow. And second of all, welcome to Uncover. <laughs> yes. Um, of course, uh, we're so privileged to have the both of you here. We have Pastor Tim with us and Pastor Ben, of course. Uh, one is a songwriter and, of course, the other is a very familiar face, the worship leader for this song as well. Um, it's called... Love is Alive. Love is Alive. And you got to say it more... Alive. Yeah, love, yeah. love, is, love is Alive. alive. Yeah, you got to say it yeah. more, you know, a little bit more lively. Like, you know? <laughs> love is Alive. What a powerful, powerful, beautiful song. You know, let's get straight into it. Um, let's start with you, you know, Pastor Tim. Um, you are, I understand, one of the songwriters of the song. Yep. And uh, we had a very brief chat about it as well. And I yep. understand there are more people besides you are involved. Uh, they could not be here today. So yep. you're re representing the... All of yeah. them. So tell us a little bit about the process when you wrote this song uh, with, between you and your colleagues. All right. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, the whole idea started from Pastor Neil. Mm. Shout out to you, Pastor Neil. Yeah, from uh, Every Nation. And uh, his friend uh, named Bryson. Mm. So uh, it started with, uh, he came to me and said, Hey bro, I have this uh, chorus and I just need some help to finish up the song. Maybe you can uh, share some ideas as well. So he passed it to me. And uh, I think prior to that as well, he has passed to Bryson mm. to uh, fill up some gaps. So when I got the full song and I uh, just fill in whatever that uh, I'm able to fill in, write some uh, verses and everything, pass it back to Neil. And uh, from there, perhaps Neil just um, tie go up through it. Yeah, tie ups and everything, tidy up a bit and uh, finalize the song. So yeah, that's how Love is Alive is Alive. Wow, yeah. what a yeah. simple story, but a very nice conclusion. But yeah. I want to follow up to that question a little bit because when, when, we, when people write songs, right, I imagine they have a, a singular vision about that song. Yep. And as you mentioned, the song was passed around yep. and before it came to its final um, version of, of what uh, Pastor Ben sang earlier. Yep. So how was that process like? Because what you receive is probably part of it and then you add a little bit of your, your feel to it, what you, you know, what inspires you. And you have three, more than one different source of inspiration. Yep. And was that process very challenging or did it come very naturally, just very, you know, just float? Yeah, I agree that uh, it's quite a different challenge yeah. to write the, the song because three of us are not in the same room. <laughs> exactly, right. Yeah, because it was like passed around. So, um, but uh, as Neil passed it to me, also I had like a exchange with him, conversation mm -hmm. like, what's your idea of that song? And uh, he shared with me like, yeah, um, he wants to capture um, the heart of what Jesus is all about, mm. his love. And uh, a song that reflects not just for uh, a certain season, but it's also for Easter, for Christmas, for every season as well. Mm. So uh, with that in mind, so that is how uh, I fill in some of those gaps and mm. verses and pass it back to him. So that is how the whole process wow. uh, yeah, happened. Wow, yeah. amazing. Yep. Uh, ben, over to you, you know. Um, can I just say, you sang 
the love out of the song. <laughs> you yeah. squeezed every ounce of love out of Love is Alive. And, you know, when you first heard of the song, or what, what, just general, what do you think of the song? When, um, when I heard the song the first time, I was like, whoa, who wrote this song? <laughs> That's the first thing I did. And of course, with... with uh, Second thought was, I wish I wrote this song. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, I wish I wrote a lot of songs, man. <laughs> I think with all of the songs that we've been, you've been recording, I, yeah. think I want to write all of it. <laughs> I'll be like him, just add like one word and then just written by Neil and Ben. Yeah, just put your <laughs> name, name no drop way. there, right? It works, you know. It works, right? <laughs> But when I heard it the first time, right, I was like, wow, this song, there's something to it. Mm. You know, because like a lot of times we just sing songs like uh, about Jesus and yeah, it's all good and all of that. But this one was like just walking through what Jesus has done, mm. you know, just step by step. And then it comes to the end. I mean, the chorus where it goes like, I'm in love with God. And, and so that's it. And then the bridge, when, when we come to the bridge, is like our response back to God. Yeah. So when I was singing this, it was like, that's where it got me because we can just appreciate what Jesus has done, but also take a step further and say, now here, this is all I am. And here's, I'm, I'm, I'm all in for this. Yeah. Wow. Very good summary of the song as well, of how you feel about it. Uh, well, you know, Pastor Tim, you know, when, when you wrote the song, was there any source of inspiration for you? Because uh, a lot of inspiration, man, all, some of them come from life experiences. Some of them yep. come from the journey as just a Christian, you know, in that mm. season of life. Or some even, they have inspiration from the Word of God. Mm. Uh, were there any specific sources of inspiration that you, that you drew from? Mm. Uh, and what would some of those... Yeah, uh, obviously the scriptures as well because it speaks a lot and captures a lot what God is all about, Jesus' journey on the cross. So when we think of John 3.16, for God so loved the world that He gave His Son so that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. So that is like the basis of uh, how we wrote that song. And uh, He gave His life for us. And uh, in response to that, we also want to uh, honour Him and glorify Him with our life as well. So that is the basic uh, basis of this home. Yeah. That's amazing. Yep. Very good. It's a very universal verse yep. that anyone and everyone can relate to. Like you say, John 3, 16, everybody knows that verse. Uh, ben, you know, when you were first approached to sing this song, uh, I imagine it'd be a, a challenge as well. You know, it's a res you know, it's fun as well, but at the same time, it's, I feel it's also a responsibility to bear. So it's like a blessed responsibility in a way to put it. And how, how did you approach this song? And what was it like for you when you first approached to sing this song? Even for this, uh, during this set, uh, did you receive it with open arms and say, yes, you know, I'm so gung-ho. Did you like, ooh, you know, you need to think about it, pray about it, fast about it. You know, what was it like when you were first approached to sing this song? Um, when I asked to sing this song, I was like... Firstly, I, I was like, I can't sing good as good as Jay. Like, Jay sang this song <laughs> in the previous recording. I'm like, Jay, he's really good. But when I, I went through the lyrics and the word undignified stood out to me. Uh, because when I was asked to sing this song, I thought about that word because we're so used to uh, having everything perfect before we worship God. You know, before we, we set the, you know, like we've got to make sure our clothes are good and everything has to be good. But that word undignified with passion for my king... Uh, to me, when I heard that, I was like, that's it. That was it. You know, like, it, it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect. But it, as long I'm all in, undignified, and that's, I want to just throw it all at the feet of Jesus. And so when I was approached to, ask, to sing the song, that's what stood out to me the most. Like, that, that word, undignified, with passion for the king. So that's when I was like, okay, Jay sang it. Now let's just do it again. <laughs> wow. I yeah. love it. I love it. That means you were so... In a way, you were actually quite ready for it. And, it's, and I think you had some references at least to lean back on as well. And I think you also infused a lot of your own personality, your own take on the song. And which leads me very nicely to the next question for, uh, for you, Pastor Tim. You know, because uh, when it comes to songs, it sometimes takes a very long time to complete. We hear maybe songs take a night or some, some take weeks, some take years. How long did it take to complete Love is Alive from start to finish? I think... <laughs> well, uh, for myself, uh, I... I took a few days mm -hmm. to just do my part. And uh, of course, uh, Neil is the one that uh, finalized and tied up everything. Mm. But uh, it took me a few days because, like I said earlier, I had that conversation and uh, exchange with uh, Neil mm. to get some idea uh, what he wants to bring out, the mm. message that he want brings out from this song. So it took me some time to pray about it. In fact, yeah, pray about it, think about it, see how some of those verses or some of those words resonates, uh, complements with the whole message. Mm. So I think it took me a few days. 
for that. Yeah. What about the melody? Um, you know, it's a very catchy melody. It's something that many people can just, you know, when they listen to it once and it's almost like a hook, you know, and they can sing it over and over again in their minds. Uh, what about the melody here? Did, you know, was it difficult to come up with the melody? I think I give that credit to Neil because he was sharing with me that uh, actually it was birthed from the worship session in his church that he keeps, he, his congregation was keep singing uh, that chorus, that melody. So um, he, prob- he probably would have taken that and just build on it mm. because he wanted a full song, not just a chorus. So I remember him telling me that uh, it's something that has been going on for some time. Just that uh, he wants to build on it and make it like a proper song mm-hmm. for every one of us to sing. Nice. Thank you so much, team. Uh, ben, we know songs are powerful, stories are powerful. In this case, we're doing song and story together. Uh, you know, this, this song tells a story as well of God's journey as well. So in what way, maybe, can you share with us that when you sing this song, uh, how, how do you relate to this song? And how, what, what song, of, what verse, maybe what chorus touches your heart and how do you relate to it? Um, I would say, I think I said it just now, but for me, the, the bridge, mm, mm, uh, mm. Uh, the chorus is so catchy. Like, yeah, like, I know. <laughs> so it's just like, it goes on and on and on. But for me, the bridge was it because um, I think I resonate with that the most because uh, growing up, you're like, you, can, you have the choice to, to do whatever you want with your life. Mm. But just saying with all I am, what I will sing undignified with passion for my king. Mm. So that's a choice we make. And I think from this whole song, the thing that resonated to me in my life uh, was that like, I choose this over everything else. So mm. that's the part that stood out the most to me. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Tim, any, any part of the song that you personally relate to? Although you've yeah. written parts of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with uh, Ben, you know, uh, the bridge part, because it just builds up, uh, because it's just like our response to uh, God's love. Uh, especially, I like that line, uh, I will delight in you forevermore. You mm. know, um, that is, uh, yeah, I think, how to explain it, but uh, it's like uh, when you live your life uh, with everything that's happening, um, being in God's love, being in His presence is all that you want to be. Mm. It goes back to what you say about undignified being yourself before God, mm. uh, knowing God's love is all for you covering you in everything that you do and uh, as you live your life we can live with that assurance with that grace that's yeah. amazing yeah. Um, you know before we close you know we're slowly running out of time here but just out of curiosity Ben did you as a vocalist receive any guidance or sort of any pointers from the songwriter because I imagine it'd be quite stressful to <laughs> sing with the songwriter breathing down behind li- quite literally right behind you because uh, right, you're sitting I think about just one feet away from you so did you receive any sort of guidance and how was that <laughs> like you know that re- I, was, I was telling him I said you should be sitting yeah. here I sit behind there and he's like no you sit there I was like okay um yeah, I, I didn't actually get any pointers. Uh-huh. And uh, I think that's the beautiful thing about friends. We trust mm. each other. Like, you know, like, even though it's like, it's not like just, oh, this is my song. Sing it the way I want it to be mm. sung. But it's like, hey, this is a song that we wrote. And here, why don't you put your spin on it? So wow. I thought, I've, I felt that from Tim and I hope Neil as well. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just felt that as such an ease in it. And uh, just being yourself, undignified for God. Yeah. Tim, what do you think of that rendition that you just, you're a part of? Like you said earlier, man, it's just mind-blowing. And I'm so blessed to be just, you know, being part of just uh, worshipping along with everyone here. Mm. Um, yeah, it's such a privilege, such an honour to just worship together with that song. And uh, like you said earlier, doing uh, your own spin on that song. I think that's what worship is all about, being uh, before God mm. as who we are just singing out from our hearts wow yeah. gentlemen the privilege is all ours and the honour is ours uh, yeah. but before I let you guys go you know uh, fair question I'd ask to every of our guests uh, we can start with you Pastor Tim what is your hope for this song uh, when you think about in context of individuals churches uh, what is your hope for Love is Alive yeah when uh, I remember having this conversation with Neil as well that uh, we hope this uh, song as well give a really uh, deep teaching and theology to people and whoever that's listening about God's love. You know, a lot of times we talk about God's love, but then it's not, uh, it's just like maybe just a surface. Mm. But the, the beauty of this song that we wrote is that we wrote every part of the journey of 
Jesus' journey to the cross. Mm. It gives us like a theology and an understanding of what God's love is all about. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I hope as the churches sing this song, it's not just singing nice words, but also understanding that the, the good news is there. Yeah. And we are singing out the good news for everyone to worship and to sing as well. Amazing. Very well said. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about you, Pastor Ben? Um, just last one was mm. that, that part, every beat of my heart. Maybe there's someone out there who's heart is broken, maybe someone's heart who, who just needs that extra nudge to say, hey, there's a God who loves you. And so I pray that this song does it to them. Amazing. Thank you so much, Pastor Ben. Thank you so much, Pastor Tim. Uh, I know I've been personally blessed and I'm sure a lot of people who are watching out there who just listened to that song has also been personally blessed, encouraged and inspired by that. And uh, we want to say a big, big thank you for being here as well, to, for singing the song and also sharing your heart about uh, Love is Alive. Now, of course, if you want to catch chords, or you want to know how to play uh, and you want to sing it in your church, you can also do so. You can just search for You Are The Revolution on YouTube where you can get chords for the song. Uh, alternatively, we'll also provide the links in the description box below. Now, if you want more content like this, you can subscribe to us on social media on YouTube just search for Let's Get Real and you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget we also have a Discord community server where you can join and we can do live together uh, in the community server of Discord other than that uh, I think it's about time I say goodbye we want to say a big thank you once again to Pastor Ben and Pastor Tim here on Uncover for Love is Alive we'll see you guys again next time bye bye yeah. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another episode of our podcast. We believe and trust that you'll be inspired, blessed and encouraged by this episode. And if you'd like to see more episodes like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Also, we have a Discord community where you can join, have fun and even seek for prayer. And of course, if you want to support this ministry, this studio and keep us going, you can drop your love gifts at the bank details that you see on your screens right now. Be sure to hear about Let's Get Real or LGR so that we know that your giving will be used for this show. Thank you so much in advance. Until next time, God bless. God bless.